Hi folks, we're going to talk today about setting up East-West Quantum Link Play for multi-timbral and multi-channel use. Now, if you're going to do multi-timbral lock, there's something that you should have a look at here in Settings, in Play, under Other. See, MIDI channel assignment. You can automatically increment it or set it to Omni all the time. So if it's set to Omni all the time, then you have to increment it manually. Since I usually use multi timbrels, I got that checked. So let's load some instruments. I've got flutes up already, so we'll do flutes. Expressivo. Staccato. and some sort of effect. We'll do a trill. Okay, going back to the player here, you can see my MIDI channels are over here, so whatever happens to be up, the MIDI channel coincides to that. You can see it even easier in the mixer. We got channel one, channel two, channel three, but you see we're all output to the same output. So we need to add lanes here for the MIDI channels. So right click, lanes, add. And I'm going to do one more with my button there, get that out of the way. So MIDI channel 1, lanes, MIDI channel 2, and lanes, MIDI channel 3. If I do this off enough, I might actually look like I know what I'm doing. So, you get your instruments set up there. Let me get my headphones on. Got our legato. Our staccato. And trill. Okay, so you notice that anything I do anywhere. goes to the same output. So we have to change this if we want to affect these channels individually, especially for the volume, we have to set this up as a multi-timbral. So we can do it two ways on the, the uh, play interface. The easiest way is down here. So I can change channel 2 to output 3 and 4, and channel 3 to output 5 and 6. There's another way in the player over here. So one down here, you can change the output. See, it's already changed. 5, 6. That was buggy for a while, but now they've got it working right. OK, so we also have to configure Quickscraft to do the same thing. So, configure. We get one, two going already. Three, four, five, six. Okay. We have our child tracks. This one is attached to channel one. This one is attached to channel two. This one is attached to channel three. So, if we play. You can see each one affects them individually. I'm going to be doing another video on how to actually apply all this, but for right now, that's how we set up East West Quantum Leap Play 
for multi-timbral and multi-channel use.